a marketing rebel, a marketing rebel. If there's one constant in business, it's that markets change and they change rapidly. So the big question is, will you adapt? Will you be able to move fast enough? And will you capitalize? So I'm gonna dive into this right now, but before I do, go ahead and hit that like button, share this video if you gain value at the end of it. All that support helps us reach a bigger audience and help them build better businesses. So back in 2013, the Facebook ad market had a huge change. It was seismic. Ad account shutdowns were happening consistently. The fitness space of all spaces just got decimated during this process when this happened. And so what was going on is there is little things, right? It was kind of the wild, wild west a little bit in regards to how ad accounts were run back then. And then Facebook just made the decision, you know what, we're gonna crack down, we're gonna require specific things to run ads on our network. And we're not only gonna require it, but we're going to start enforcing it. So this was a massive change. A lot of accounts were shut down. People were freaking out because a lot of people had all their eggs in one basket, which I will, you know, that's a whole nother content uh, piece for you or topic to talk about on how to actually diversify your traffic channels and your marketing channels and your income channels, all that stuff inside your business. But what's important is that to, to make sure that you are following the rules on the network. So here's what happened. Everyone was freaking out. They didn't know what to do. So. What I knew was this was a massive market change. Things were changing very rapidly and people needed to figure it out. So knowing this, I decided to dive on in and figure it out. And, and you know, I was fortunate to be sitting in a place to recognize what was happening because Google did this exact same thing in 2010. And frankly, my account got shut down the day before my wedding. It was unbelievable, super stressful and you know, I cover more about that process and that story in the a video that we did called the rules of engagement. So with that said, let's jump into the problem that the fitness companies were facing. So they were growing their business with Facebook ads in a couple of different ways. You had Nutra companies, you had uh, product companies, you also had local gyms that were running traffic for their, for their businesses to find new members. And Basically, they got hit really, really hard. So what they needed to do was a way to get back online and they had to do it very quickly or else their business would become stagnant with no revenue. And that is no fun when you're in business with no revenue, you're really not in business. So what was the solution? We had to come up with two solutions. We, are, we knew there was a lot of different segments in the fitness space that are having the issue. We happen to have a couple clients already in that space. So we needed two solutions. We One solution was we had to create pre-sell articles for the supplements and the info products. So what we did is we moved back to an old school tactic and we're able to solve the problem. First off, we actually went and reviewed sites and looked at these sites and said, hey, here's a, you're missing these proper links, the contact us page, the privacy page, all these like little things that were important. So that was step one, we did that. And then what we did is we created a pre-sale article for people that were running directly to supplements. Now, that allowed us to get that industry back online. What happened at that point is we now became, because we pivoted quick, we moved quick, we found solutions. We started getting hired by a lot of different supplement companies and info product companies to help them execute the solution and get them back online. So the second solution we would market an industry in the fitness space that we helped were gyms. Gyms were coming in and using challenges to acquire clients for their gym. So they were all shut down. So what happened is we came in and we started solving that problem. We started doing all the proper checks on the pages, figured out, understood what the rules of engagement were, helped them build their proper landing pages. Effectively, we had to recreate ad campaigns, everything to really kind of match, check off the box on all the issues that Facebook wanted to have solved. So the things that they were enforcing, we had to make sure that we were not outside those terms of service, whatever, you know, that process, right? So what we did then is then all of a sudden we get invited to a mastermind full of a bunch of gyms. We start helping all these gym owners and presenting and helping them. 
and then instantly all these gyms started hiring us to do that process. I say instant, but it was a long road because we had to figure it all out and bring the solution to them. But once we did it, they started hiring us. So the results of that, which worked out because of the process and understanding that there was a problem that we needed to fix. So the result was we became the go-to agency for fitness offers. So we had multiple clients that were investing in us to help them get back online. There, we are helping them with our process to do that. And then we also, the second part is, the other industry we solved was the gyms. So we got to the point where we had over 100 plus gyms that we were managing their local traffic campaigns for them as well. So in part of that, because we were able to pivot, the market changed, we were able to change with it at a very rapid pace. Our agency had its first seven figure year that year, back in 2013, So, which was, a lot of fun for us we grew quick we started working with a lot of different clients it was super exciting and i think you know the biggest part of this the, me telling you that story is that to really drive home how much growth you can have during change where a lot of companies they don't like the change and so what happens is when the market changes they stay the same and then all of a sudden you see companies fizzle out so if you understand that the only constant we have in business is change, then you have the ability to find solutions in your marketplace. And when you find those solutions in the marketplace, you can get massive results, not only for your clients and the people that you work with and your customers, but you can also have massive results for your company and grow very, very quickly. So constant is change. So accept it and just be ready to adapt and move with it as quickly as possible to have the results that you want. So once again, if you gain value from this video and you understand now that the only constant in business is change, will you please share this video, uh, like it as well. We're, you know, we wanna get the word out to help more business owners, more entrepreneurs build bigger, better businesses that support the lifestyle they want. So go ahead, like, comment, and share. I appreciate your support.